Welcome to our sanctuary. I'm Catherine Nye, night to my colleagues. I wrote the virus that freed you from Sam. I don't know how to thank you. I'm sorry your father did this. The initiative's use of AI could doom us all, and you were the first to suffer. Did your virus kill Sam? Sam has been reduced. It's harmless now. I saw the folly of merging humans and AI in the Milky Way, a black ops project called Overlord that created a monster. Many died, my son was hurt, and the young man used as a host was consumed. Every Pathfinder risks the same fate. That can happen? I've never heard of Overlord. I guess your father hadn't either. Excuse me, I have work to do, unless you have questions. If you're afraid of AI, why join an organization that uses it? We needed an escape. I thought the initiative was using shackled AI for research. When I understood it... Well, a firefighter doesn't run away from a fire. What more can you tell me about Project Overlord? A black ops experiment by mad scientists to merge a human mind with synthetic intelligence. Their creation was a horror. I paid a heavy price to get my son out. You think the Pathfinders could be overcome by their AI? Worse. If the Initiative thinks the human AI merge works, they might roll it out to everyone. Imagine Sam's power in the hands of people who weren't ready for it. I shouldn't keep you. Thank you. Don't worry about Sam reconnecting. Our AI detector is always watching. That's good to know. The virus was a beginning. I'm about to make sure the initiative never repeats its mistake. Pathfinder, it's unlikely an AI detector could discern our private channel. However, this may not be true for your scanner. Whatever Knight's planning can't be good. She's dangerous. Let's find out what's up, discreetly. Oh, welcome. I'm Laveria. I'm so glad Knight's virus worked. Do you need anything? It sounds like Knight is taking all this to the next level. Oh yes, very soon now. Has she told you anything? Not much. Alain, her son, would know more. Why did you join Knight's movement? <laughs> I know. Me, an underground hacker? Back home, I was a concierge on the Citadel. I coded games for my little sisters. They played together, walked to school together. And when those Geth machines attacked the Citadel, the Geth impaled them on spikes. Together. Shit, that's awful. That's why I left for Andromeda, and why I joined Knight. It's a relief to be free, but Sam wasn't so bad. Each AI is different. None of the Geth who attacked the Citadel stopped the others from... Hurting my little sisters. I'm sorry. Sam would have been sorry, too. Really? It would? Well, thank you. See you later, Laveria. Bye. Come by any time. <sighs> this must be tough to hear, Sam. Those AI are the product of a different civilization. Ours will be founded on organic, synthetic partnership. I bridge the hard-earned lessons of the past and the promise of the future. Looks like Knight's personal console. Sam, can you get into it? 
Yes, but my access will trigger the AI detector. You'll only have one chance. Oh. Okay, let's wait until we know what we're looking for. You must be Ryder. Alain. My mother's in charge around here. But you're a celebrity. Sorry I can't show you around. I'm stuck sitting here for a few more hours. Is something wrong? I'm fine. Just good old Project Overlord. Still kicking me when I'm down. When Mom has... Nope. Can't talk about that. Do you need anything? Anything you can tell me about Project Overlord? Black Ops guys trying to make a VI human hybrid. They hired my mother as a programmer. They told me I was a candidate for the human part. And hey, not like my body was doing me any favors. But my implants got hacked and mum said we're leaving. Lucky me, Overlord went downhill fast. If it's all right, can I ask you why you need all these machines? I had a serious infection in my nervous system. I use spinal implants to walk and, you know, bathroom stuff. But while my mother was working on Project Overlord, my implants got hacked. They still work. I just have to sink them a few hours a day. Your mother seems to have plans. Mum's always got plans. A big one's coming up. Nothing else you can tell me? I would. But you just arrived. I learned the hard way. Trust has to be earned. I've got to go. You know where I'll be. Pathfinder, I believe we can fix Alain's implants. I have schematics for an appropriate device. It will require time and resources. Or I could start scanning, but that's risky.
Ryder, good to see you. You said I should come to you if I needed intel. I want to establish an outpost on Kadara, but I'm not quite sure how to do it. Because of Sloan. She's not the only obstacle. If war is about to break out between the outcasts and the Collective, I can't ask people to settle here. Are you saying Kadara's dangerous? <laughs> if you want to ease tensions, prove the initiative can be reliable. Gain favor with the little people, and it won't matter who's in charge. I better get going. Thanks for stopping by. Hey there. Can't find good help to save me. Pathfinder, you've got missed calls on the Tempest. Check back when you've got a minute. stole the Angoran satellites, and destroyed the search vessel. What are the odds they'll surrender peacefully? Less than... one percent. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. 
You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Ella, I put a little something together. This should help fix your implants. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah, I can feel my nerves waking up. When Mercury goes down, Mum will lose her mind over this. Thank you. No problem, Ella. Your mother seems to have plans. Mum's always got plans. A big one's coming up. Sorry, Mercury is sensitive stuff. I wish I could. I've got to go. Thank you again. Mercury. Sounds like a code name for whatever Knight's doing. This will enable me to find any relevant data quickly. Let's search Knight's console and see what she's up to. Security protocols breached. Bring up anything tagged Mercury. Files found. Mercury. A strike to prevent any future AI by destroying all quantum computers on the Nexus. Damn it. You could use those computers to create AI, but right now they run half the station. A lot of people could die. We need to stop Knight. Now. But quietly. Okay? Ah, my scanner tripped the AI detector. I can mask this as an error, but future pings might draw attention. Maybe there's another way to find out what Knight's planning, if she gives us enough time. A military-grade EMP device normally used to damage electrical equipment. Blueprints for the computer network on the Nexus. So we don't know what she's planning, but we know where. The AI detector picked up the scan. That'll be hard to explain away. It's a schematic for a... blue box? A quantum computer. They serve several purposes, including creating AI. Damn it. They must know something's up by now. Be ready.
Ryder, could we chat? sure about that, Lexi. We don't know how long we're going to need the rations to last. Even trade... Being ...with Kadara and Aya, we don't have a reliable food source in Helios yet. I'm sure you'll find a way. Pathfinder, you have pending vid calls. How's my favorite Pathfinder? Just enjoying another day of what Helios has to offer? Why? Thought we could grab a drink. Sloan's holding a get-together for the locals. I managed to snag an invite. Care to be my plus one? Sloan doesn't seem like the party type. She sees these events as a necessary evil to keep the people happy. I'd never say no to free drinks. Especially from Sloan's reserve. I'll meet you outside Outcast HQ.
Captain Gadara. You're always a welcome sight, Pathfinder. Still no word from our search vessel. How goes your hunt for the missing satellites? Your people caught scavengers from Kadara port stealing them. There was a fight. Your ship lost. I sent them out. And risked your life, too. The scavengers. Angaran? Have our deserters preyed upon us again? We caught up to them. They attacked without warning. Might have been Rokar. We fought them off and recovered what was left of the satellites. I'm so sorry, Pathfinder. And ashamed. This is not who we are. Please accept my apologies. I hope you can look past this. It's not your fault. Kadar is full of bad people. They chose to stand alone. They'll suffer the consequences. I'll file a report with our leaders. Perhaps it's time the Resistance got involved. We'll rebuild the satellites and return them to space. I'll keep you updated with our latest charts. Thank you, Marco. No, Pathfinder. Thank you. Hello, Pathfinder. Pathfinder. I studied How the Angaran astronomer's data transfer. His files begin before the satellites. The initiative will benefit tremendously from this. You're always a... The scavengers. Angaran? Please accept my apologies. Pathfinder, I studied the Angaran astronomer's data transfer. His files begin before the satellites. The initiative will benefit tremendously from this. And all I had to do was lie to him. Thanks, Sam. Hello, Pathfinder. How can I help? How many planets have you colonized? 
When we returned to space after the Scourge, we discovered our civilization had survived on five worlds. People from one of those worlds found and settled Aya. Could there be more Angaran worlds from before the Scourge? Ones you don't know about? That's one reason we travel the stars, in hope of finding what we've lost. How long have your people had space travel? Before the Scourge, we colonized many worlds, or so we're told. You don't know for sure? The Scourge erased all records. Everything became myth, passed down as oral history. We rebuilt our space program only a few hundred years ago. From Stone Age to Space Age in a few centuries. Impressive. Nothing will keep us from the stars. Not the Scourge, not Ket. We belong out there. How good are your satellites at watching the Scourge? They've served us well for many decades. My grandmother led the program that designed them, and my mother tended them before me. Does the Scourge change shape and direction often? On an astronomical scale, it's like a fast-moving river, but travel routes generally remain stable for years at a time. Could your colonies wind up cut off from each other? Worse than that, if the Scourge engulfs a world, everything on it dies. That's all for now. Stars and skies protect you. You and the Pathfinder seem close. Yes, I value his help. That's not what I meant. Don't you have show arts to catalogue? Hello, Pathfinder. Any good news for me? Is this Ingarin? I found it on one of your homeworlds. Sun above. It's an ancient Ravan. A musical instrument. It uses Angara's body energy to produce music. We have them now, but nothing is beautiful. The songs it played were probably lost long ago. How much culture have we forgotten? Art, music, stories, it's all gone. Because of you, it won't disappear completely. Yes, I can be determined. I admire it. You say that now. I'll come back when I have something. Stars guide your travels. Ryder, they've got amazing Remtech research going on here. I love seeing our Milky Way peeps mingling with the Angara. It's early in our interspecies relationship, but I hope we can build on the momentum. We have an amazing opportunity, and a great responsibility. Whoa, that's your inspiring voice. You really can't turn off diplomat mode once it's on, can you? <laughs> Just riding, you rider. Keep up the good work. Pathfinder? F1 
confess should have come to me. Axel, I'm all right. You almost died. What's he doing here? I asked the Moshai to set up a meeting. I don't want us to be enemies. Is this true? Axel, Ryder rescued me from the Ket. He risked his life to... Sloan Kelly saved Kadara. Look how that went. I don't condone what happened on Kadara. But one bad experience doesn't define an entire species. Your kind has a history of treating each other unfairly. Just ask the Krogan. How did you... I've been watching you. You're invaders just like the Ket, except less cautious. What does that mean? You'll know soon enough. Do not trust them, Chauvin. Axel... He didn't used to be like this. He was curious. Brilliant. But the Ket... Even without exaltation, they change us. There's still time to bring him around. I want to believe that, but his hatred towards aliens... I'll prove we can be trusted. I hope so. Ryder, we just received an emergency recording from EOS. Come to the meeting room when you get back to the Tempest. Honor to meet you, Pathfinder. Initiative pilot Marixis. I run supplies to your outposts. What brings you to Aya? Your survival supplies only Aya has. I'm waiting on clearance to enter the city, but it's taking too long. I understand their caution, but the outposts need these supplies. I have to get them, now. They let me into the city? I can help. I appreciate that. To start, Eos needs a way to produce food to support population growth. They requested Kiloa seeds to begin their own crops. There's an agricultural scientist who might sell some. I'll make sure to get those seeds. Vol's power grid is lagging without proper solar input. The solar amplifier would give him a boost. The solar technicians here may have the required parts. I'll see what I can find. Weird question. You don't have any Kiloa seeds, do you? I... yes, I do. Need some? You work on the solar panels? Do you have an amplifier for solar energy? Nothing as big as these, but I have a smaller one on hand. Do you need it?
Ambassador. I trust our people had a smooth transition to Aya. The Angara have been gracious. Everything's going well. Good. Keep me updated. Tan out. I've never lied to a director before. Pathfinder, it's a pleasure. I'm Ambassador Riala, Chief Diplomat for the Initiative on Aya. I was removed from Cryo specifically for this. Quite the wake-up call. I assume you're trained for first contact diplomacy. I'm a social anthropologist with a linguistics background. Close enough for Director Tan. I hear you're to thank for our new ties with Aya. This is our best shot at an alliance. Now we just need to keep our people from wrecking it, no matter how hard they try. If something's wrong, I need to know. Maybe you can help me fix it. A Salarian botanist named Sorvis Len is here, learning how to improve our crops. He sent an urgent comm, saying a member of the Angaran Resistance had threatened him. What happened? I'm not sure. Sorvis is an excellent scientist, but not the best communicator. I'm concerned this could escalate if someone doesn't look into it, but I don't have the staff to spare. I can go settle things. I'm a friendly face for both sides. That would be helpful. With any luck, we can prevent this from getting worse. What's our end goal for Aya? A strong alliance is all we can ask for. It's what we're working toward. Helios is the Angara's home. They dictate the terms of this partnership, not us. We need them as allies, and they could benefit from us. But we have to tread lightly. Show them we're not invaders. Historically, when two civilizations meet, one consumes or destroys the other. We need to break that cycle. How many of our people have they lit into the city? A strictly limited number, and only certain professions. Scientists, engineers, and scholars. The Angara have agreed to allow some of our people to work in Aya's research facilities. That's huge. It's more than I expected. Tan wants me to push for social visits, but I'm holding my ground. We need to move at their pace. They've been extraordinarily gracious, all things considered. I'll take whatever they're willing to give. Aside from Sorvis Len, is everything okay? Need anything else? Actually, yes. Director Tan gave me a project. He wants more Aya natives to live on the Nexus. He thinks it will deepen our partnership. A few Angara expressed interest, but... None of them will agree to live on the Nexus without speaking to you first. Why me? After what you've accomplished? I didn't want to bother you, but... You asked. I'll point you towards the candidates. If you could convince them to transfer, I'd be grateful. That's all for now. I'm here if you need anything. No rest for the weary. The ambassador's messages are overflowing again. I found Kiloa seeds for Eos. Is this enough? It's perfect. I'll make sure Eos gets them. 
Here, I found the solar amplifier for Vold. They'll be happy to see this. No more power outages. Thank you, Pathfinder. Ambassador Riala said you're thinking of moving to the Nexus. A finder. I'm honored even to be considered for the transfer. I won't be happy as just an observer. I want need to work. I engineer power systems. Will I be allowed employment alongside your people? That's the whole point of this exchange. The Nexus needs people like you. That's all I needed to hear. I'll have your ambassador start the transfer. Thank you. I can't work under these conditions. What does it take to be left alone? Ease off. I'm here to help. You reported that someone in the Resistance threatened you. Tell me exactly what happened. I didn't know Riala was sending the Pathfinder. I deserve no less, of course. I was measuring the photonic dispersal from the canopies when some random brute interrupted me. I asked him to move, and he got nasty. Said it was my fault his friend was dead. <laughs> Ridiculous. Do you know what he meant by that? He ranted nonsense about a vessel and selling slots to outsiders. He got right up in my face and compared me to a cat. He wanted to kill me. I could see it in his eyes. The whole conversation made no sense. I think he was inebriated. Sounds like there's more to this. Don't suppose you caught his name? Didn't ask, didn't want it, didn't need it. When he left, I tagged him with infrared dye from my sample kit. Invisible to the naked eye, but not to a scanner. I'll scan people around the Resistance headquarters. See if I find him. You're supposed to represent our interests, Anaya. Go, represent. I have work to do. I've told you every... You're one of Ambassador Riala's candidates to live on the Nexus. I am. Glad you finally showed up. Let's get down to it. I've lived my whole life wanting to meet aliens who didn't want me dead. But my family's here. How can I stay in touch with them from the Nexus? You'll have ways to send them text messages and comm transmissions. I want contact with the people I love. You offer machines. You're not good enough, Pathfinder. You're one of them. 
How can I stay in touch with them from the Nexus? You can send messages, talk to them on the comm. We'll even arrange a visit. You get it. All right. I'm in. Pathfinder, Ambassador Riala didn't think you'd have time for me. She said you needed to talk before agreeing to live on the Nexus. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. I'm an anthropologist, but I've only ever studied my own people. I've heard the Nexus is home to multiple species and cultures. It would be fascinating and possibly dangerous. Bacteria, viruses, other contaminants. My family worries about me. Are you sure I'll be safe? They wouldn't let me on Aya if I was a walking Petri dish, would they? You aren't taking this seriously enough to satisfy my family. I can't go without their blessing. Pathfind. Bacteria, viruses, other contaminants. We'll take every precaution, but entering an alien environment is always a risk. I appreciate your honesty, and so will my family. I'll convince them to let me go. Thank you. Oh, you're here. Welcome to my favorite place in the galaxy. No entering the med center until you're clean. I detect the infrared dye Sorvis Len used to mock the person who threatened him.